Is violence ever justified? In the 15 to 20 minutes that I have your attention, we cannot possibly tackle such a philosophically dense subject. But briefly, let's talk about the protests in Frankfurt, Germany last week, where more than 10,000 people took to the streets to protest the European Central Bank's new lavish headquarters, an all too tangible mockery of the extreme economic policies set forth by the bank. In short, in the name of austerity, aka curtailing government debt, the ECB has taken its Friedman-style, hyper-capitalist, suck-off corporations, fuck-off little people mentality and injected Europe with a deadly dose of dipshit economics. What this really means is slashing public spending, privatizing state-run institutions, fueling unemployment, and napalming all the things we'd love to give Europe a hard time for, but are just secretly jealous of, like socialized health care, vacation time, maternity and paternity leave, strong unions, you know, the little things in life. The Euro was designed to do this, and don't take that from me. The guy who dreamed up this little bit of capitalist demon seed says so. It puts monetary policy out of the reach of politicians. And without fiscal policy, the only way nations can keep jobs is by the competitive reduction of rules on business. In other words, remove economic control from elected governments and unfettered greed will rule. Europe is failing because the Euro is succeeding in the exact way it was meant to, at the literal and figurative expense of the people. So how do you raise your voice to the fat cats on high? too out of reach and out of touch to hear you or care? Is it worth a few burnt police cars when there's an epidemic of young adult suicides in Greece? Can we compare a few overturned blockades to 10,000 families forcibly removed from their homes in the UK? And how do you explain more cuts to public health care when there's already a 200% rise in HIV cases in Greece? Can you be confronted with a $1.3 billion building paid for by, your, by cuts to your present, your future, and not fume with anger? Anti-austerity protests have been ongoing for years, with the only response being more cuts, more cuts, while an all but silent media looks on with little more than a condescending pat on the head for the oppressed masses. But now, these issues have painted the front pages of media worldwide, thanks to a few fires and some clown costumes. People who knew nothing about these issues are learning about them. So perhaps these clowns were what we needed to get serious. Perhaps in this case, violence was justified. And I don't necessarily have the answer here. I don't know if violence was justified in Frankfurt. I know anger was. And I know, having seen cops push, having seen governments push, I know that at some point, you have to push back. Sometimes a riot is what you need. A riot is the language of the unheard, and we cannot look at a riot and condemn it without condemning the injustices behind it. As activist Tazio Mueller said last week in a Democracy Now! interview, my hope would be, let's not just focus on the burning cars, because in fact what we need to focus on is the ECB and their policies, because they're burning the continent. To the injustices behind the riots, from tweets to marching in the streets, this is act out.